It's your boy Fish and Ken, Hook City TV, and it's about to go down. Listen, I'm going to make this real short, simple, quick. It's hot out here. Dog days of summer are here. No doubt about it, man. And why we call them the dogs of days of summer is number one, because it is hot as you know what outside. Number two, these fish, they get real finicky. They act like they don't want to bite. And especially for a jig fisherman. For those that like to use jigs a lot, um, Sometimes it can get really tough when you're fishing straight jigs. But I got a trick up my sleeve, man, and I want to show it to you guys what you got to do when jig fishing to catch finicky crappie in the summertime. Y'all stay tuned, man. We're going to get into it right here. Nothing worse than having an off day, middle of the summer. Get out there, got your boat together, jigs, all that. Get out there on the lake, find a big old pretty brush pile. Crappie won't bite your jigs. Close that down real quick. So you say to yourself, all right, let's try different things. Let's pitch, let's drop vertical, let's dead stick. Nothing seems to get the bite consistent. What do you do next? Hope y'all can see what I just did. Just uh, humanely dispatched a little minnow. And we're not gonna be using live bait today, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of these little, little pieces of minnow, tip it, and that's gonna be it. I'm gonna show you the difference between tipping and not tipping. It's the scent, man. Sometimes they want meat, baby. And you gotta give them a treat. Y'all know when I'm out here, I like to use my ACC crappie stick, 6.6 .6 or six and a half. Um, we're using a Shimano Sienna 1000. Um, I am using fluorocarbon because this was the um, rod that I used to chase my bluegill with as well. Um, and today we're going to use a, a variety of baits, but I'm going to stick with something small. Anytime you have a finicky bite, they tend to bite smaller jigs better. So we're going to use a smaller jig today. Um, I'll probably use a 1 16th ounce head. Don't have to go any, any higher than that um, because there's no wind. If it gets a little bit more windy, we get a little bit more current, I might switch to a 1 8th just to make sure it gets down there, stays in place. We will be using the uh, live scope today. The 126 SV, um, and that's just about it, man. Now that all that kind of stuff is out of the way, I'm gonna get tied up really quick, guys, and we're gonna try to pitch in here first without the minnow and then with the minnow and see what the difference is. Let's go. pile that's about I probably short stroke that just a little bit we got a brush pile that's about 15 feet away from us 
to see if there's anybody hungry. So he just ran out on the second one, just ran out, didn't bite, ran out again. He's still on me, still on me, still chasing. That fish went from 10, excuse me, from about 6, 14, 16 to 10 foot. So it closed the gap six foot, um, four to six foot, and did not bite that jig. And that's the kind of stuff that I want to show y'all. So the aggression was there. They just didn't have any, any, any come home. So I'm gonna put it in there one more time. Just see, I just got one to move. He's chasing, chasing. Stop chasing that fast. I'm gonna drop back down in here. Oh, he bit that time. Second one is running behind him. But did you see how long it took for that fish to bite? That's exactly what I'm talking about, man. Why does it take so long for that fish to bite? This is a good 10 inch fish. That one gets to go back. And we're gonna do that again, man, to see if we can get a fit. I want I want to see that. They, they're showing me that aggression, but for whatever reason, they don't want to just come on with it, nail it. And again, this is without a minnow, all right? This is without a minnow. All right, right, right back on it. Boat is shifting around a little bit. Not a whole lot of wind. Let's see, I stroked that one pretty good. I put it right at 20 foot. We're falling right now. All right, we're in there. Seeing aggression, fish chasing. There's one coming up now. He took it, okay. He took it. Woo. Good fish, y'all. Good fish. Tell you what, man. Might not need them today. That B vibe is all the way live. Two inch B vibe, man. Euro tackle. Y'all see that fish, man? That's a good fish, man. Let's see if we can get those to bite. Bait is down. See a fish looking. I need commitment, though. I don't need looks. I need commitments. Those ones coming out now. nothing and guys as many fish is, is in there you would think that they will be coming on with it man that's what you want to see you want to see that that plum tree you want to see that plum tree in texas we call them plum tree that tree plum full of crop all right there's one chasing it's right there in about 22 foot and then he stopped that fast again commitment issues man and this is what you start dealing with. I'm just hopping along this brush pile. Had one nip at it, but did not commit. He's still on me. Still on me. Look at this. He kissing the jig, but not biting. We're gonna hold it for him. See if the second one wants to get a piece of it. And then nothing else. Guys, nobody ain't nobody got time for that, man. Yeah, we can catch a few fish, but man, ain't nobody got time for it. It's too many fish in there for these fish to be doing this, but I'm, I'm gonna fix that. I'm gonna show you right now. This is not gonna be a long video. This is gonna be a video that'll help you quick. Load the boat with crappie, man. Check this out. So I've taken a little minnow, might have been about two and a half inches long, cut it into sections, little bitty pieces, just like that. And what I wanna do is I wanna run this hook through his back. That's the thickest, meatiest part of this thing. And it's gonna help me to keep it on. And every now and again, I'll be able to catch two fish or three fish off of it. It looks just like that, guys. Watch what this does. Hey right, guys, we got the minnow on. Going down there at 24 foot. Fish is looking, looking, fish on. I'm trying to tell you, man, fish on. That little bitty piece of minnow, man. No more commitment issues. That fish didn't chase me for six, six, seven feet. You know, it didn't follow that bait up from from 16 foot deep to eight foot deep. It didn't do all that mess. Turned, engaged my bait with the aggressiveness that it's been having. So he saw the bait. But I'm gonna tell you what, man. That little bit of scent of that minnow is what caught that fish, guys. Once we get him, once we get his attention, we need something that's gonna make him commit. And this little piece of this little piece of minnow is what's making him commit. 
Now I'm using a little head piece. I don't want to show that. It might be a little too graphic. Might be a little too graphic from a, from a younger audience. He ain't even want to chase it. Here's another one. Listen, that minnow, that little minnow head gave me two chances at them cropping. Another keeper cropping, man. Six foot six handling that fish, getting them over in the boat just like we needed to. Man, let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. That's what it's about right there, man. That's exactly what it's about. Man, it's hot out here, but with these minnows, the bite can be hot too. I'm gonna give me another little piece. I lost my piece on that one. I'm gonna give me another little piece. Put me another little taste on there. Man, this wind sure does mess with this old trick, y'all, but look, we're making another pitch now. 14 foot going down, almost there, boom. I'm in it, fish coming out already. See what he does. Mmm. As soon as one saw it, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Oh, come up here with me. Come and talk to me. Guys, we've caught one. Just like that. Fighting right now, y'all. I'm just gonna have to put the whole pole in the water. Oh Lord. Look at this. Watch this, y'all. Watch this. Watch this. Look at this. I barely come on. Ooh. 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 Fishing key. Hook see the TV, baby. Summer donkeys. That's this right here is exactly why I didn't. Summer donkeys, man. Get y'all some of that. ACC crappie sticks, summer donkeys. Let's go, baby. Let's go. All right, guys, listen. I told you it's hot, it's nasty. I gotta get out of this heat, man, and put up my feet. But I wanted y'all to understand one thing, man. If you're having trouble with finicky fish out here in this nasty weather, in this hot dog days of summer weather, Try to get you about a dozen minnows. Hopefully they're the large, if you get the larger size minnows, guys, you can cut those up in about four or five pieces. Chunk them up real good. Add them to your favorite bait. The bait that's always worked that you can't figure out why it's not working all of a sudden. Add that little piece of meat, that little piece of minnow to your jig, man, and watch the magic happen. Hey, man, that's tips from your boy Fishing Ken, Hook City TV. Y'all know what time it is. We out here.